Well, good morning. My name is Keith Cooper. I live right across the street in Winter Park Highlands. And Paul asked me to put together a quick video on kind of why I give. Uh, short story is I haven't always been this way. And I was always part of the woulda, shoulda, coulda generation that really didn't understand the importance of giving from the heart. And it took a while to really make that transition. Probably the time frame that caused that to happen was when I retired from the military and didn't know what I was gonna do. I didn't have a halftime game plan to figure it out. And during that time, I transitioned from achieving as I've been doing the first 40 years of my life to being remembered and understanding how I want to be remembered and doing something meaningful. And it wasn't just that, it was during that time that I was retiring, I lost my sister to cancer and I lost friends to cancer. And I realized just how unimportant all that I accumulated was and how I could try to make a difference. And since that time, every birthday I've had, except for last year's COVID, I spent in Haiti, Puerto Rico, Panama City, Florida, giving back. Uh, I still do transportation trips for people who are ill, trying to get them medical care, because that's what I do. I've changed from being a person who was the woulda, shoulda, coulda, to giving being a reflex. It's opened my heart. And your church has caused that to happen because so often, and you can understand where I'm going with this, I've had to prove myself everywhere I've been. I've had to show that I could do things equally well or better. Truthfully, not equally well, but better. When I walk in the doors of Church Eternal Hills, I'm accepted and I'm respected. And it's a place I want to belong because each of you have given me that respect and that acceptance automatically. There's a quick poem I want to share with you, kind of that motivates me even more, that I think you'll understand why I do what I do and why I'll continue to do what I do. And the poem is by a poet named Mark Nepo. I wish I could memorize it, but I'm not that smart yet. And he says, what opens us is never as important as what is opened inside of us. All of us have seen some type of tragedy, faced personal tragedy, known others who've had tragedy, been affected by it. That is what opened us. We now have to work on and be what is open inside of us. Thanks for your time.